Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to take us through our organization's continuous improvement process. So the reason we follow a process like this is so our new ideas and innovations stand a much greater chance of success. So we have a process here at Khan & Khan to drive all of our new ideas from concept through to implementation. It's a really important process because it can save us time, money and resources and improve our productivity while we achieve our mission, vision and values that is at the heart and core of our business. So it's a six step process that we use to take ideas from beginning through to end. The six steps are idea, business case, decision, plan, mission control and review. So I'll take you off take you off to the six steps and the first one is number one, the idea. So it always starts off with having an idea. And throughout our business, we'll always be getting feedback from customers or from our team and we might get feedback that there's an area for improvement in our business. We might be improving a system or improving a product um, or how we deliver that product to the market. From that feedback, we get an idea. We think that yes, this is the way that we could really improve this part of our business. From the idea, we go to number two, the business case. The next step is to develop a business case around this idea that we've had. So this doesn't need to be lots and lots of analysis, but it does have to look at a couple of key things. So first of all, how much do we think that this idea will cost? And what do you think is going to be the cost to implement the idea? We then look at what the return is likely to be. So this could be in the form of revenue, or it could be cost saving. So what is the potential return of this particular idea? And finally, what's the risk? How likely is it that this idea is going to be successful? So with the cost, return and risk, we can make a pretty informed decision about how we want to proceed with this idea. So number three, that takes us to the decision. The next step is the decision step. So in this stage, we get stakeholders together, so everyone who will be involved in the idea or impact, impacted by the idea. And we say, look, guys, this is the insight that we had. This is, this is the idea that we came up with. And the business case looks like it's pretty much stacks up. So do we want to proceed? And everyone out of our stakeholders should pretty much say yes, that they do want us to proceed to the next stage. But if they don't, we simply just go back and revisit the idea and we iterate and see what the next um, best thing is that uh, we can make everyone happy and so that, we, that we get the green light. So after that, that takes us to the planning stage. That's number four of the six step process. This is where the nitty gritty stuff happens. So the business case that we went through in step two is quite high level, but the planning stage is pretty detailed. So this is where we map out everything, everything that we think we need to do to bring this idea to life. So this is where we look at all the steps that need to happen along the implementation process, where we look at resources and cost, and where we go into the detail of the resources we need to spend on it. We also do um, the planning, we determine the time frame over which we are going to implement the new idea. And once we do the planning, we spend a lot of time here getting it right, and then we move on to mission control. So that's number five, mission control. In this step, we again get all the stakeholders together and we say, hey guys, this is the idea that we had. Here's the business case and this is a plan that we are going to make it happen. And are we all happy for us to go ahead with it? So everyone needs to give us a green light at this stage um, in this mission control step. Once we go down and actually start implementing the plan, that's only after everyone gives us the green light. And if we get a red light from even one person, we need to revisit the plan and go back and make sure we've addressed all the contingencies. So after we address all their concerns, we go back to mission control. And again, we try and get a green light from everyone. If we do get a green light, then it's time to implement. So this is where we follow project management methodology that we covered earlier. So all projects or the innovations should follow the project management process for the actual implementation. So the sixth step of the six step process is number six, review. Once we've implemented our project or implemented our continuous improvement idea, 
we need to conduct a post-implementation review. This is a really important step um, and we need to ask ourselves questions like, did we achieve what we wanted to achieve? Did we achieve the benefit that we wanted to get out of this new idea? And most importantly, what have we learned for next time? The post-implementation is so important. And this is this is this step is really important um, in order to give us hindsight and uh, give us ideas for next time, so that we don't um, so that we have the benefit of history and that we don't uh, make the same mistakes. So this is the process from step one to step six to take ideas from a concept to implementation and beyond. It's important to have a process so that we manage continuous improvement ideas and innovations, because everyone knows what's coming up next. And as a team, we take everyone along with us and ensures that we don't skip any of these important steps. So that's it, guys. That's the, that's the six-step continuous improvement process. I hope you enjoyed learning about our process and I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback.